What would be your favorite memory from working on Sons of Anarchy? Oh, from Sons? Oh, I thought I was going to get a Walking Dead question first. Through from, your fastball. But yeah, you did. Sons was uh, one of those that took me a lot of therapy to get over that death. Um, that, was a, that was a fun show to work on. I loved, um, I loved being out of the pit. If you remember the way one of the, one of the first episodes my character was in, I was literally in that pit with the, uh, with, with the motorcycles riding on my face. I remember that moment getting out of the pit. I was like, thank goodness I'm still alive. Um, you know which one? I loved, uh, there was a day that I was working with, with Jack with um, uh, the very last episode that I was on, actually, when I kidnapped... Tara and uh, and Cobra, Jeff is here. Yeah, you know, and he stabbed me in the kidney. That day was amazing because I got to drive the action, you know. And we had a chase and a rundown until like, boy, three in the morning. It was a whole day, whole night kind of a thing, and uh, that one was fun because I felt like the character at that point had nowhere to go, and he needed to kind of be put to rest. And um, just emotionally, it felt like I had redeemed and paid that character off. You know, I would. I mean, I would have liked to have gone maybe one or two more episodes to see just how where that would have gone because the yeah. madness you know was really percolating at that point but um, but that that one I felt like I did everything I could with it and, um, and I really tried to serve the character and that whole story that whole season story best I could and yeah you did do an amazing job oh thank you thank All you right. what was your what was your one of your favorite moments from that season oh oh uh, do it to him right yeah um, and this was Kind of season two, correct? Three. Three. Season three. Um, I liked when they went to uh, Ireland. Yeah. Because it was a complete change of uh, a pace. Like, you hadn't seen that really in the show yet. It's always centralized right. in that area. And then That's it kind right. of threw you for a loop. That's pretty good, yeah. Yeah. Can I um, use the opportunity to promote something I'm working on? Absolutely. Hold on one second. Stay right there. The, uh, let me get... Um, so this is uh, Free Me the Game. It's a game I just released uh, yesterday, or two days ago on Kickstarter. And the whole point, you know, how everybody's obsessed with getting more friends and followers and um, crafting the perfect post and living online, if you will. Well, this is a game that reminds us to not take ourselves so seriously. And instead of trying to gain friends and followers, you're actually going to lose friends and followers by playing certain blunders. So this one, for example, you accidentally liked a bikini picture of your sister. This is actually inspired by CJ. And um, hashtag family comes first. Why don't you take that? All right, awesome. And uh, I would love it if you guys were to check it out on Kickstarter and back the game. Pick up a copy. All right, definitely do that. And uh, just one more question. Uh, this one won't be a curveball. All what right. was your favorite moment of working on The Walking Dead? It was season three um, with, uh, with Norman uh, and well, Daryl when we were at the silos. And we had this... Um, I guess, for the lack of a better phrase, pissing contest on who could kill the most zombies in the coolest fashion. Do you remember this? Yes. Uh, this was, yeah, this is when, like, the governor first met Andy Lincoln's character, right? And so they're sitting there in the war council, uh, as we called it, and we're out there just kind of twiddling our thumbs, and we went out and we heard the growling, and so we started twirling the bats around. It's actually this moment. It's right here. And one, it was a fun, it was just fun to kill, you know, walkers that way, but Two, it was a nice uh, autumn day. I'll never forget the silos. And I remember the wind came and it like blew all of the leaves down. There was this tall yellow grass and it was blowing. It was just a good day to be an actor, sharing a smoke with a great actor. And uh, the cameras were there or they're not there. It just felt like a really seamless day. Awesome. Yeah. Well, cool. thank you and congrats on Chappie. Oh, it just thank came you. Out on DVD came as out well. on DVD. Yeah. Have you seen it yet? I have not. I oh, have go it. check I it out. It, but I have not. Bought it. All right. I like that. Well, go home, go buy go buy Chappie and then play Free Me the Game and um, it'll be a great way to spend the weekend.